In this tutorial, I'll take a first look at the Node.js system. On my Windows system, in the Blend for Web folder, I'm going to use the Node.exe application to run my first Node.js file. The file contains this code from the W3Schools website it's a Hello World program. Included in Blend for Web version 1712 is a copy of the Node.js environment, so you don't have to install it yourself. But the part of the Node.js system that is of particular interest is the NPM the Node.js package manager that is the largest registry of open source libraries in the world. Clicking the link, in this tutorial I'm not going to look at the Node.js package manager. At the Blend for Web blog, Alexander Romanov has written an article about the package manager and I will look at it in a future tutorial. So next I'm going to show how to use the Node.js software that comes with Blend for Web so that you can work through the Node.js tutorial at the W3Schools website if you want to. The first thing we have to do is create a file named myfirst.js with the following code in it. To create the file, I would use a text editor. The text editor I normally use is Notepad++. But for this demonstration, I will use Windows Notepad. Highlight the code. Right click, copy. Click, right click, paste. File, save as. For reasons that I'll go into later, I'm going to save the file in the node.js folder. Go to the Blend for Web folder, the Tools folder, Node, Node for Windows. Change the type to All Files and call the file myfirst.js. I've already done this, so I'm going to change the name to myfirst2.js and save. For the node system to run the code that is in the file, you have to use a command line interface. I'm going to talk briefly about operating systems kernels and shells. At the core of an operating system is the kernel. It is the software that directly controls the hardware of the computer system. Wrapped around the kernel is software called a shell, which is a user interface so the user can use the kernel to control the hardware. Graphical user interfaces, like Windows, are easier to use, but in some instances you have to use a shell and its command line interface. The tutorial suggests for Windows users to use the old command prompt but I found that didn't work with my Windows 10 system. The shell that I found worked was the Windows PowerShell with admin rights. You can access the PowerShell by right clicking on the Start menu. You can also display this menu by holding down the Windows key and pressing X. Choosing the PowerShell option, because of the admin rights, I have to confirm that the app can make changes. 
and we get the Windows PowerShell with administrator rights. The first thing I'm going to do is change from Drive C to Drive G where I have my Blend for Web folder. A shell comes with a basic set of internal commands. The first command that I'm going to use is DIR which gives a list of the current directory or folder. First any folders are listed, then any files. The next internal command that I'm going to use is CD which is short for change directory. I'm going to highlight the name of the directory by double clicking. Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. Pressing enter, the current directory is now the blend for web folder. Entering the dir command again, the next directory I want to change to is the tools folder. cd tools dir in the tools folder is the node folder cd node dir cd change into the node windows folder double click to highlight control and c to copy control and v to paste and dir there is node.exe the extension exe means that it's an executable file i'm going to use node.exe to run the code in my first two .js. Even though node.exe is in the current folder, it will not execute unless I put a path to it. A relative path to the current folder is dot slash. Then the name of the executable file. You don't have to put the .exe. Then the name of the file containing the code, control C and control V. Pressing enter, the node.js system creates a local server and is looping round maintaining the server. If we access the server on port 8080, we should see the message, hello world. If we type into the address bar of a browser, http colon slash slash localhost, to access port 8080, put colon 8080 and enter. And we get hello world. To stop the server, so we can run another node.js script, hold down the control key and press C. Now if we refresh the browser screen, the server is no longer running. Pressing the up arrow brings back the most recent command, which we can edit Control and C. Control and V and run again. Now when I refresh the browser, we get the date and time. With what I've shown you so far, you should be able to do at least half of the tutorial and be able to experiment with Node.js. I have talked about the basic set of commands that come with a shell, CD and DIR for instance. Next, I want to talk about extending the operating system, adding tools and utilities that also can be accessed from the command line interface. 
in the Windows PowerShell, I'm going to enter a command that isn't one of the shell's internal commands, and we get an error message that the command is not recognized. This also isn't an internal command, node-v, but it works. It gives the version of node.js. So why and how was node.exe found? There is a clue here. Or if a path was included, verify that the path is correct and try again. The answer is, you can extend an operating system by adding new commands, provided you provide a path to the folders where the new commands executable files are stored. The next question is, how do you provide a path to the folders where the files are stored? On a Windows 10 system, go to Settings, Control Panel, System, Advanced System Settings, Environmental variables are a set of variables that are used to configure the system at startup. Clicking environmental variables, select the path variable and click edit. All these paths are put together into one string and stored in the path variable. Here I have added the path to the node.js folder. You can go into edit mode by clicking on a path when it's selected. I'm going to copy the path, click anywhere to go out of edit mode. Pressing delete deletes the selected path. To add the node.js folder, to the path environmental variable, click new, enter the path, and click OK. Click OK again. You have to restart the system before the changes take effect. Once the system has restarted, you can use ordinary Windows PowerShell. You don't need admin rights. And you can save your Node.js programs anywhere. You don't have to save them in the Node.js folder. To run a Node.js program, Type node and the name of the file. And it should all work. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.